Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I know it's been a while since I have published a video on here, but things have kind of been crazy, so I am back today with a video. So recently I had um, someone on my channel comment on my video from the digital stickers, which I will link up here, um, how to make the background of like a sticker sheet transparent if you don't have Canva Pro. Um, I don't think I've made a video on this yet, so I am going to share with you guys today how to make this background transparent if you don't have Canva Pro. Um, so if you like these kinds of videos, if you learn a lot from today's video or whatever, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button below and leave any comments you have in the comment section below as I will do my best to answer any questions that y'all may have about this. So... Let me kind of show you an example. So this is a sticker sheet that I created for two different videos for the Canva video and the silhouette video. I will post them up here and also in the description box. If you haven't checked those out, make sure to check those out. But back to the point of this video. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you cannot save this image as a um, transparent PNG, which means this background is gone. So, in order to do this, if you don't have Canva Pro, once you get your design created, all you need to go is to the download button up here. Um, you can save it as a regular PNG or a JPEG. Um, we'll just save it as a JPEG. And we will hit download. It's actually pretty simple. Um, let me see. Okay. Let me save this in the folder that it needs to be saved under. Let's see, test kitties. Um, let's do test kitties. Okay, so now that I have this picture saved, if I open it up, it's gonna have the white background and not the transparent background. So. If it's transparent, then this white area would be like checkerboard, but since there is no checkerboard and it's white, then when you open this up with um, GoodNotes or whatever app you're wanting to use, um, it's going to have this white background instead of clear. So we want this to be clear. What you'll need to do is go up here. Open up a new tab and go to lunapic.com. So this is kind of a rinky-dink website. I'm not like the biggest fan of it, but for simple things like this, it's really good. Go up here to upload and choose the file. And I'm going to scroll down and find the test kitties picture that we just saved. So I'm going to open that, and once you open whatever file you choose, then you'll be able to see this entire picture. Love kitty cats. All right, so to make this transparent, let me get back on track. Once you get your picture uploaded, go to this transparent button right here and hit it. And once you hit it, it should make at least some of the area transparent. So a few minutes ago when I said that this checkerboard area is transparent, now you can see what's transparent and what's not. All you'll need to do now is go to start again to make another area transparent. And then you just tap on the white areas that you want to make transparent. So Everything's transparent except this little spot up here. So I'll go back to make it transparent and hit this little area. And now we have our transparent digital stickers. So the areas that aren't transparent, so these three little cats, the hearts, and then the circles with the cat silhouettes in them, those are not going to be transparent. So when you open this up, if you save this file and open 
this file up with a transparent area back here, you can crop it and um, use it in your digital planner. Um, I had someone really rude leave a comment on my channel about the roundabout way to create a sticker sheet that um, I talked about in my digital planner video. If you're going to sell the sticker sheets, I would not sell them in a sheet like this to where you had to crop them out individually. I would make them pre-cropped. I can make a video on how to do that, but for the sake of this video, I'm putting this out there in case this rude person wants to watch this video, that I'm not selling it like this and that this is the easiest way to do it if you're just making it for you. So all you'll need to do from here is once you make everything transparent, go up to File, Save Image, and make sure to hit this top option, Save as PNG, and then you can rename it to whatever. I'm just gonna name it as this so I can show you guys the difference between the transparent and the um, JPEG with the background. So I'm gonna save this and gonna open this up and now we have this file and the background is transparent so once you open it up into good notes or whatever note taking app you use you can just open this file and crop these little stickers individually and you are good to go Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was very clear about my instructions for creating a transparent background. If you don't have Canva Pro, make sure to check out the link in my description box for the free 30 day trial of Canva Pro because it is very useful if you're gonna make these kinds of designs. So make sure to check that out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will talk with you guys again soon.